Ooh, resist. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Russ. I am with rwgresearch.com. And I've got something really cool to show you today. Um, I have a little experiment here that you can set up at your own house or uh, lab or whatever. Uh, do use caution. It's not the uh, most safest experiment, but it can be done in a safe manner. <clears throat> so what I want to show you today, something pretty cool. <clears throat> My question to everyone out there, and most people have this question, is what is a catalyst? Okay, I'll give you a very, very brief description, and then I'll let you guys do the research. What is a catalyst? A catalyst is something that is used in a reaction, but is not consumed most of the time. That's what a catalyst is. Something you need to make something work, but is not consumed. So I have a really, really cool and simple experiment that you can do on your, on your own uh, to show this in your own you know, setting at your own house or your lab. And what this experiment is, is basically, I'll show you what I got. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so here's what I got. This experiment, all you need is copper. This is copper foil, okay? You might be able to get it to work with wire, but I had a hard time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the other thing you need is acetone. All right, now, here's the problem. Danger, extremely flammable. All right? So this will ignite, and you must use caution. I hold no disclaimers if you try this on your own. All right. So you take a piece of copper foil like this, and what I've done is just cut it into a little curly cue. All right, and to, to actually get this reaction to work and sustain itself, I had to make this really thin cut right here. And what that does is isolate this bottom copper piece from the top copper piece so that the heat doesn't transmit up to the top piece, otherwise the reaction will not work very well. So it took me a little bit of trial and error to get this to work. Um, so what you do is you take acetone, pour it into a glass, all right, I just have about this much. took a little bit to get the balance right, I had to get a different cup to, to get the balance right, so it takes a little bit of effort to get it going. But basically what happens here is there's a chemical reaction between the oxygen coming in and the vapor is evaporating, the acetone evaporating, and the copper is going to act as a catalyst, all right. So this copper is actually going to sustain its heat because it is a catalyst in this setup. I'm not going to try to explain it to you because I don't want to explain it to you wrong. Now, before we get started, there's a few things you should do. Always, always have yourself at a source of extinguishing a fire if it may happen. Okay? So always use some sort of a heating cooling device if you're gonna try this experiment okay the next thing is glasses the only ones I got today are these dark ones but they are safety glasses you definitely want to do that because this stuff can explode now take some acetone pour it into your cup just like I have done here take the acetone and place it in a safe place okay get it out of the way so we're gonna take a torch all right I recommend torching on a different location so you don't ignite your flammable liquid here. All right, so light the torch. All right, torch is lit. I am using a pair of pliers and I did bend this so it should not fall off the rim. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna set it on here so the, the piece is just above Maybe that's probably a quarter to a half inch. Um, the higher probably the better, but I had a hard time getting the reaction to happen. So I've got this bent so it can't fall off. All right, I'm gonna do this in the light and then I'll turn the light off. So what you're gonna do is get this red hot. And then quickly place it over top of your acetone. And this is what you'll see. I'm going to go ahead and turn my torch off and turn my lights off so you guys can actually see. Well, actually, I'll leave the torch on for a minute and I'll, I'll do it again so you guys can see it. Right, let me go ahead and uh, 
turn the lights off for you so you can see it glowing. So there is your catalyst. That copper is acting as a catalyst in this particular system. Now this glass, okay, this is not ignited. The fumes inside here are not burning. And if you use a small enough piece of copper, I'm afraid, you want to be real careful, because I'm not so sure that you can't ignite, self-ignite because of the flash point of the acetone. So if you do this experiment, please be safe, be careful, I hold no disclaimers against anyone trying this for themselves, but I do recommend giving it a shot to see it for yourself as it's really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn my torch off, it looks like it's going to sustain that heat quite well. So there you go my friends, that is a catalyst. This is very cool proof of what a catalyst kind of does or what its purpose is. I'll try to link you some good descriptions and I really highly recommend you visit open-source-energy.org and post your thoughts there on this cool demonstration as I will start a thread there for it. So there you go really cool and very easy demonstration and uh, as always play safe and do not get hurt I am in my garage right now I'm not in my house I recommend doing it out somewhere where you're not going to cause a fire to burn your house down I would recommend not burning your garage down either but that's all I'm saying yeah, and I can feel the heat coming off this. Um, I mean, there's if I had a little pinwheel up here, you would see that it would be spinning right now. It's sustaining a good amount of heat. But again, there's no flame here. There's no flame going on. It'd be better at night, night time, but it looks like I got some reflections with my windows. But there's no flame. And acetone probably burns it real clear. I'm not sure. I'm not going to try it. But yeah, there you go. Catalyst. Really cool. Really cool experiment. Something to uh, show everyone what a catalyst really is and uh, a very easy demonstration of it. I recommend you playing this video in high definition. It is recorded in 1080p, 60 frames a second. Thanks to a few donations, this camera was able to be obtained and used for these type of cool demonstrations. Please check out rwgresearch.com and open-source-energy.org for more information and other cool projects. Turn the lights back on and uh, you can see it's still glowing. And uh, it will do this until the acetone is completely evaporated. So, cool beans, guys. Really appreciate you watching. And uh, like and subscribe this video and to my channel if you like these type of things. There's always cool projects going on. You never know what I'm going to come up with next. Never know what I'm going to show next. The next thing I might show is, what is that? Ooh, check it out if you'd like to know. All right, I'm done with you guys. I'm going to pull this out of here. And uh, should have set up a pinwheel for you so you could see it turning, but it's okay. As soon as I pull it out, the reaction stops. And this whole thing is really hot, but what I will show you is that this I can touch already it's already it's already cool enough to touch that's how quick the heat dissipates this is a little bit hotter it's got a little bit thicker so I'm gonna set this over here on the concrete 
and I'm going to put my acetone away and uh, play safe guys have a good day God bless you all thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye